Yamzer. Yeah, I'm back at it. I know I said I would do another video um, on my 2017 Camaro 2SS Redline Edition. Uh, let me see where I can start at. The Redline Edition is uh, is because uh, they put the, it's like a red line in here, accent. Uh, the rims have a, I don't know if you can see that from here, but it's like a red, red decal in the rim. Well, there, you know, and, and bear with me, people, because I'm not one of those. You know, I don't, I don't get all into the crazy editing and all that. I get right down to the gristle. But um, you know, it's got the quad exhaust, which you can actually change the exhaust note with it. They changed the uh, rear lights. I know people didn't like them with the last generation. But I mean, it's it's a beautiful car. It's a beautiful car. I'm I'm really in love with this car. I'm really really in love with it. And I actually haven't drove it uh, in about a week. I've been on the um, the Yamaha. Now I know I think the RS is the little light here is uh, vertical instead of horizontal. So that's how you can tell from the front difference between the RS, because they also come in the RS, which is the V6 uh, Redline Edition, which they're pretty nice also. But, uh, you know, to me, if you're going to get a muscle car, you got to get a V8. You know, all this turbo and all that stuff. Come on, man. It's got to be, it can't be a V6, it's got to be a V8. I do like the RSs. Now, I'm not trying to clown them. But just my preference is, if, it's, if you're going to get a muscle car, you got to have eight cylinders popping off. Now... The difference between this one and that 2010, the difference is it's just, it's just a total it's a totally different car. Um, the inch, the, the uh, dashboard cluster you can actually some stuff here you can actually like change it to a performance cluster where it gives you. Um, different temperatures of uh, the fluids um you can scroll through there and i hate to mess with it because i i still don't know how what the hell i'm doing with this thing um then let me see then you go back to go down here to settings options uh then you can scroll over to this side and it'll give you like uh i think it says technology standard technology and media that's the technology, and that's it looks like it's the compass. But you can go through and scroll. I'm not gonna go all through and do all this crazy stuff because, like I said, I don't even know how to get it back to where it was. But um, I mean, it's it's just it's, it, this thing is just crazy. The technology is just crazy, and like it's like I feel like I'm back in computer school. Um. But that's the navigation screen, obviously. I always wanted navigation for whatever reason. I just like how it looks when I'm driving. And it also, you can get the navigation to pop up here. It'll show you a little map. Or if you have to turn left or right or whatever, it'll, it'll give you directions. I'm sure a lot of other cars do that too, but like I said, it's new to me. Um, I do like the heated steering wheel, which I didn't think would make that much of a difference until I got the SRT. And um, it is nice to put your hands on a nice warm steering wheel. Uh, vented seats, so it gives you that little cooling off in the summertime through the seats. Heated, of course, but I'm like I said, I'm sure all these cars come with it. The 2010 had the instrument cluster down here. Now they moved everything back up to here, but this thing beeping the horn like that. Um, you can change the temperature. It's dual uh, temperature zones. Come on with the horn. I'm trying to do something over here. And this changes the temperature to uh, on the driver's side. This changes, you know, it's like a dial here, which I think is pretty cool. You turn this to control the airflow. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just, a, it's a cool, it's a cool vehicle. And I mean, this is the best car I've ever been in, and I've been in a lot of cars. The way it handles, the way it sounds. As a matter of fact, let's um get into the this is the stock exhaust on that 2010 until i changed the mufflers you couldn't hear anything but it's actually in touring mode now 
So when you step on the gas, it's a little, you get a little, you get a little exhaust note there, but then if you switch it to sport, it actually, uh, I got it set up so that it changes the ambient light, ambient light when you, um, when you change the, uh, not my battery's getting low. When you change the, um, the, the mode, but now if you step on the gas, you get more of a muscle car growl. Now the mufflers on here are gigantic. You know, it's just one big wide muffler, which is heavy. And um, I was actually looking into some aftermarket. Uh, they only come in, you can only get an axle back. They're like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600. I'm not doing that. You know, I did all of that modification with the other with the other uh, Camaro, and um, yeah, I'm 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 not doing that. I'm not doing that. There's other stuff I could spend that money on right now, but it sounds good. You know, I'm not on on the track. I'm not trying to race anybody. I take my time. It's just nice to know you have it when you want it. Um, let me see if I can get it back to where it was before. All right, yeah, see now I like that. That's not actually how it, I think the uh, preset for the vehicle is, but it gives you the gas up here, then it gives you the oil temperature here, and you can scroll through that and it gives you whatever you wanna watch. If it's your fuel economy, which is what that is, um, your oil life, uh, tire pressure, uh, your MPGs, that's the speedometer and the mileage obviously. And um, I like to see my fuel economy while I'm driving, so I know how to manage how I'm driving. Let me put it back in touring. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you also, what the other Camaro didn't have was you can shift it with the shifter if you have it in manual, which people clown me, because then hey, you got an automatic. And eh, so what? I'll shift faster than you. I know it's more fun with the manual, but uh, you can always pretend. Or maybe you can't. I don't know. Uh, but it has the paddle shifting on the steering wheel. And it also has the... Um, you can manually shift it with the uh, automatic shifter. But uh, spec-wise, 455 horses, 455 torque. So for my RT people out there that like to race everybody because they want you to think it's an SRT. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Cause this this thing is a beast. But anyway, let me stop clowning my Mopar people. I love I, I love Dodge. I just wouldn't buy one. I love Ford Mustangs. You know, I would probably buy one if the price is right. But my number one thing is the Camaro. But um, yeah, I love this car though. I mean, I love it. I love it so much I don't even drive it. <laughs> if that's weird, um, it's just weird. But you know, the weather's been nice, so I've been on the bike. But yeah. Yeah, if you um if you can afford one, cause they're cheaper than you know they come with a lot of stuff. A lot of more expensive cars come with. If you can afford one and you're looking for a muscle car, definitely have the Camaro on your list. You don't have to get the V8. You can get the V6. You can get the the, the four cylinder. Eh, still, they're pretty nice. Um, but that's all I got for now. I can't think of anything else if I figure something else out. No, oh, I did figure out how to start the car like from a distance through the app. But other than that, um it's just a it's just a beautiful car. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't even want to go in the house. <sighs> best car purchase I've ever made. This is the second best large purchase I've ever made. But you want to get something that costs a little bit of money make sure your credit score is, is, is right you owe a lot of people a lot of money you're going to be paying a whole lot more money to the bank if you take out a loan so the interest rate makes a big difference i used to pay 15 percent on the first car i ever financed paid it off and it actually helped my credit but i was you know the bank got some money out of me but um i'm over 40 i said you know what i, I i'm going to i'm going to get something nice and that's what I did. Set me back a little bit, but I would pay more money to drive this. I would pay more money to drive this. It's just that great of a car. It's an awesome, awesome car. I used to see people on YouTube raving about how nice these Camaros are when they test drove them, they do reviews, and I'm saying, hey, whatever. 
So you get in one, just go test drive one. Just go test drive one. And just, it's like you're in a spaceship. I feel like I'm on Buck Rogers or something, which may be a little older than a lot of people. They don't know about the Buck Rogers thing, but I feel like I'm on, I'm on Star Wars or something in here. Like Anakin in the, in, in the pod. But it's just a, it's, it's a beautiful car. It's a crazy vehicle. And um, probably won't do anything to it, any mods, at least this year. But take the, uh, I might get the rear resonators taken off just to give it a little bit more growl. But um, axle backs and all that stuff, they, they cost too much money. And the car is too new for me to put all of this stuff on it. You know, but um, I love it. I love it. If you're in the market, you got the money, credit score is banging, go test drive a Camaro. You won't have to test drive anything else. You'll get that Camaro and you'll... That dude was right. Yams was right. I didn't even look at the engine when I bought it. I just touched drove it and said, I'll be back tomorrow for it. So, but anyway, um, that's pretty much it. I'm glad I got rid of that Jeep SRT. Hope I never see it again. I hope I never, ever see that Jeep again. Because I'm sure I got a couple gray hairs from it within the last five months. But I'm glad I went and made that move. But that's it, people. Thanks for watching. You don't have to subscribe. I can use the subscribers. Uh, I'm not really in it for all of that. Not Nothing monetary and all that stuff. I just do it because I like to talk stuff. But, uh... If you're watching this and you didn't subscribe, subscribe. If I start getting more subscribers, I'll start putting more videos up and um, I'll, I'll tighten up my editing skills and um, make sure I put some nice, some nice stuff to watch so I'm not wasting your time. But uh, I appreciate you taking the time out just to watch this. That's, that's love. Everybody be safe out there. Take it easy. Show each other love. You only got one life to live. Live it positively. That's all I got to say. Yams, I'm out.